Hey, hello YouTube, it's Kedar here, and this is 52 by 38 mm solar cell, and this is mono crystalline solar cell. So let me show you the voltage. As you can see, it is uh, approximately 0 0.5 volts. And the interesting fact about this panel is, uh, no matter how small you uh, break these panels, it will be the same voltage. As you can see here, it is 0 0.5 now. Okay. It's, it doesn't matter in and as you can see it's uh, uh, not that uh, means uh, rigid it can break very easily so as you can see after breaking I will getting 0 0.5 volts and in matter of the current so let me switch to the current Okay, so for the new uh, solar panel of 52 and 52 by 38 mm cell, as you can see, I'll be getting 0 0.5 amps approximately. It is 0 0.6 amps, that is 600 milliamps approximately. And as you can see, this uh, smaller broken cell, I will be getting less amps. Let me connect it properly. I'll be getting 0.091 milliamps, so that is very less. And on this cell, 0.3 amps, that is third, uh, 300 milliamps. Okay, so now as you can see, uh, maximum I, I'll be getting 300 and uh, 313 milliamps maximum at this stage and uh, it's quite a bit fluctuating so now i'll be breaking this solar cell and as you can see the current is just drop below but if you will measure the voltage of this cell then you will surely found that voltage of this solar cell is 0 0.5 volts the voltage doesn't change but if you broke the solar cell then current will change so that is the effect of uh, broken cells thanks for watching friends hope you like this video and hope you find something interesting in this video and goodbye